Going green on Halloween. That's right. It's all about taking care of the keiki and letting them go out and dress up and stocking up on those candies. But of course, those candies can cause some problems. So we just want to make a quick check. The city has a new plan for an eco-friendly Halloween. Ross Sasamura, I love the name, the director of chief engineer of the Department of Facility Maintenance joins us this morning. Ross, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ross. Now, I love the name. also love candy. But can you just tell the people out there, especially the effects that it has, the candy wrappers on the land? Sure. Well, we all love candy. We all love Halloween because it's a time for us to celebrate and share some of our treats with all of the community and our friends and neighbors. But it's important for all of us to think first about the treats themselves and whether or not the treats are packaged in plastic or other substances that can actually create problems in the marine environment. We have to remember that our storm drains all lead to oceans, ultimately, and whatever ends up in the storm drain could end up out in a coral reef, could be, end up in a beach. And we know that marine life uh, sometimes tend to swallow some plastics, and plastics can exist in the environment for potentially hundreds of years. So we're asking for people to consider alternates, biodegradable wrappers, and other items like that. So what kind of examples do you have here? I know you brought some. So um, we have an example here of a paper or cardboard-based package that is an alternative to plastic-based. But we're also asking people to not use plastic bags or plastic wrappers um, if they're making homemade treats. And some thoughts to, to um, take with you is there are a lot of people that have pets that have uh, dog poop bags. Mm -hmm. These bags can be used. Uh, they're convenient to use to actually take uh, litter or wrappers after people have eaten candy so that they don't blow away, get into the storm drain system. They can be disposed of properly or reusable shopping bags that can be used to contain the litter we, because we do tell people to stash the trash, prevent it from getting into the storm drain, getting out into the marine environment. Is that the message, stash the trash? Stash the trash, <laughs> if everybody can remember that. I like that one. Okay, and for people that may not know, just talk about the city's stormwater quality branch. Our stormwater quality branch really is out there to help educate people and help us all live in a, in a manner that's a little bit more friendly to the environment so that we don't pollute uh, unnecessarily or unknowingly. And certainly stashing the trash is one way that we can take litter out of the marine environment, off our beaches, out of the oceans, so that our environment can be a lot better for everyone. Ross Sasamura, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some great thank tips, you. of course. That way I didn't realize you could double up the doggy bag and then pick up trash or even hold your candies and treats. Right, right.